All right, you are welcome again. Let's take this question on the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. This question says, find the derivative of y is equal to arc tan 2x all over 1 minus x squared. You get it? Now, let's go. We are going to say that tan y is equal to 2x all over 1 minus x squared. Is that true? Yes. Now, if we say that tan y is equal to 2x all over 1 minus x squared, what if we take the square of both sides? The square of both sides is going to give us tan square y is equal to 2x all over 1 minus x squared, all in bracket, squared. If we open this bracket, this squared will be distributed to every time in the numerator and denominator, okay? So that means we are going to have 4x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket squared. You get it? So therefore, we can say that tan squared y is equal to 4x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. You get it? Now let's go back to our main function. We have tan y is equal to 2x all over 1 minus x squared. So differentiating with respect to x, we're going to say that the derivative of tan y is going to give us sec squared y dy all over dx. The derivative of tan y is going to give us sec squared y dy all over dx. And then in the right hand side, Using the quotient rule, the derivative of 2x all over 1 minus x squared is going to give us 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. Please, I want you to use quotient rule and differentiate this term, 2x all over 1 minus x squared, okay? So, after your differentiation, it's going to give you 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. Is that true? Yes, in this place, let's try to make dy all over dx the subject. That means we are going to multiply 2 by 1 all over sec squared y. Okay? So if we do so, that means we're going to have sec squared y multiplied by 1 all over sec squared y multiplied by dy all over dx is equal to the right hand side we multiply by 1 all over sec squared y okay so 1 all over sec squared y we cancel sec squared y so therefore we're going to be left with dy all over dx is equal to we have 2 plus 2 x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 times 1 all over sec squared y now this sec squared y can be replaced with 1 plus tan squared y. You know, this uh, in our formula we have sine squared y plus cos squared y is equal to 1. So if you divide 2 by cos squared y, we are going to see that sec squared y is equal to 1 plus tan squared y. So in this place that we have sec squared y, we can replace it with 1 plus tan squared y. Is that true? Yes. Now let's go. That means we are having dy all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 times 1 all over 1 plus tan squared y. But when we started, we said that tan squared y is equal to 4x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. And then here we are having tan squared y. We can replace it now. Okay, so if we replace tan squared y with the value 4x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket squared raised to power 2, that means we are going to have in a function dy all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 times 1 all over, we have 1 plus in place of tan y, we see 4x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket rex to power 2. Is that true? Yes. In this last function, we can combine the denominator. 
So if we want to combine the denominator, we look for the LCM. LCM is 1 minus x squared 8 in bracket raised to power 2. So if we divide it by 1, it's going to give you all the same 1 minus x squared raised to power 2, right? Now, multiply by 1, it's still going to give you 1 minus x squared bracket squared. Then we have plus, we have 4 x squared, all right? All over 1 minus x squared raised to power 2, right? So here we are having dy all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 times 1 all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 plus 4x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. You know, we just combined the denominator, okay? Now let's go. In this uh top term we have one all over you know the denominator we are having one minus x squared in bracket raised to power two is you know we can open the bracket into two places so when we open the bracket into two places it's going to give us one minus x squared multiplied by one minus x squared and then when we multiply this we are going to have one minus two x squared plus x raised to power four okay so that means we are going to have dy all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 times 1 all over. You know, we have 1 minus 2x squared plus x raised to power 4 plus 4x squared. Here, you know, we have minus 2x squared and then we have plus 4x squared. So minus 2x squared plus 4x squared is going to give us plus 2x squared so we are going to have dy all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 times 1 all over 1 plus 2x squared plus x raised to power 4 all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 is that true yes now let's go we're going to have dy all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus, minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 times, you know, we have 1. You know, this all over, it can be written as divided by 1 plus 2x squared plus x raised to power 4 all over 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. You get it, right? Now, let's go. We have the all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 minus x squared raised to power 2 times 1. You know, this division we turn to what? Multiplication, we say times. And then the denominator in the next term will be our numerator. And then the numerator is going to be our denominator. So if we do so, we're going to have the numerator 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 all over 1 plus 2x squared plus x raised to power 4. All right? Yes, if you look closely, we discover that we are having 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 in our numerator. And we are also having 1 minus x squared in bracket raised to power 2 in our denominator. Okay? So we can cancel this. So after the cancellation, we are going to be left with dy all over dx is equal to 2 plus 2x squared all over 1 plus 2x squared plus x raised to power 4. Is that true? Yes. In a denominator, we can factor out 2. If we factor out 2, we are going to have 2, open bracket, 1, plus x raised to power 2. Okay? In a denominator, in a numerator, we are going to have 2, open bracket, 1 plus x squared. Close the bracket. If you want to open this bracket, you can simply say 2 times 1. We're going to give you 2. And then 2 times x squared. We're going to give you 2x squared. Okay? So, all over. In our denominator, we're going to factorize. If you factorize 1 plus 2x squared plus x raised to power 4, it's going to give you 1 plus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. Is that true? Yes. If you factorize this, what you're going to have. So, we're going to have dy all over dx is equal to 2. Open bracket 1 plus x squared all over 1 plus x squared in bracket raised to power 2. You know, we're having 1 plus x squared in our numerator and then 1 plus x squared 
in our denominator but the denominator is times two so that means we're going to cancel one of the numerator and one in the denominator so after the cancellation we're going to have dy all over dx is equal to two all over one plus x squared all right and then it is the same way or it can be written as dy all over dx is equal to two all over x squared plus one all right so finally the derivative of y equal to actan 2x all over 1 minus x squared is giving us dy all over dx is equal to 2 all over x squared plus 1 all right yes please i want you to watch the video very carefully step by step and make sure you practice all right